हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई के सर केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द एस्टिमेशन ऑफ ब्लड ग्लूकोज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस इंट्रोड्यूस द चैप्टर ग्लूकोज इज द मेन शुगर फाउंड इन आवर ब्लड एंड हेंस इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड ब्लड शुगर it comes from the foods we eat which are rich in carbohydrates such as bread potatoes rice etc glucose is the main source of energy in our body our blood carries glucose to the cells to use for energy blood glucose level and its implications there is much controversy and debate on normal blood glucose level however the fasting blood glucose level from 70 to 120 mg per 100 ml may be regarded as normal the lower blood glucose level indicates hypoglycemia on the other hand the higher blood glucose level is an indication of diabetes estimation of blood glucose there are various methods for the estimation of blood glucose these methods are generally based on the fact that glucose is a reducing sugar and it reduces free or complex cu2+ ion to q+ oxide that is cu2o the most accurate and sensitive method for it is the glucose oxidase peroxidase method which will be discussed here let us see the principle of this process glucose oxidase peroxidase method when blood serum containing glucose is treated with god pod enzyme in the presence of air and then with four amino antipyrin and phenol quinone imine is formed quantitatively which has lambda max equals to 500 nanometer it means the formation of quinone imine is proportional to the glucose content of blood serum glucose reacts with oxygen o2 in the presence of glucose oxidase enzyme producing gluconic acid and h2o2 H2O2 produced in this way reacts with four amino antipyrin and phenol in the presence of peroxidase enzyme forming quinone imine and H2O this product has lambda max equals to 500 nanometer sample processing for the extraction of blood serum 3 to 5 ml blood sample is taken out from the patient and it is taken in a centrifuge tube this centrifuge tube is placed in a water bath for 15 minutes at 37 degree centigrade and then this blood sample is centrifuged at 3000 rpm round per minute for 10 minutes as a result a clear liquid comes above which is called supernatant liquid it is extracted and it is nothing but blood serum procedure three test tubes leveled as 1 2 and 3 are taken and filled with the solutions as follows 
test tube number 1 is called blank tube. It contains 0.01 ml distilled water and 1.5 ml GOD POD enzyme solution which also contains 4 amino antipyrene and phenol. Test tube number 2 is called sample tube. It contains 0.01 ml sample that is blood serum and 1.5 ml GOD POD enzyme solution which also contains 4 amino antipyrene and phenol. And test tube number 3 is called a standard tube. It contains 0.01 ml sample, not sample. 0.01 ml a standard glucose solution and 1.5 ml GOD POD enzyme solution containing 4 amino antipyrene and phenol. The standard glucose solution, this standard glucose solution has concentration 5.5 millimole per liter which is equivalent to 99 milligram per 100 ml. The contents of each tube leveled as 1, 2 and 3 are mixed well and incubated at 37 degrees centigrade for 25 minutes. Then absorbances that is optical density of all the three solutions are measured at 500 nanometer. Tabular representation of the processes carried out. This is the sequence of adding various reagents and various processes. In test tube number 1, blank solution is taken which is denoted by B. It contains 0.01 ml distilled water and 1.5 5 ml GOD POD enzyme solution. These two solutions are mixed well, incubated at 37 degree centigrade for 25 minutes and the optical density is measured at 500 nanometer and this optical density is represented by ODB that is optical density of blank solution. In test tube number 2, test or sample solution is taken. It contains 0.01 ml blood serum, 1.5 ml GOD POD enzyme solution which also contains 4 amino antipyrene and phenol. These two solutions are mixed together well incubated at 37 degree centigrade for 25 minutes and then its optical density is measured at 500 nanometer and it is denoted by ODT that is optical density of test or sample solution. In test tube number 3 a standard solution is taken. This is called a standard tube. It contains 0.01 ml a standard glucose solution with concentration 5.5 millimole per liter that is 99 milligram per 100 ml and 1.5 ml GOD POD enzyme solution which also contains 4 amino antipyrene and phenol. These two solutions are mixed well incubated at 37 degree centigrade for 25 minutes and then its optical density is measured which is denoted by ODS that is optical density of the standard solution. Now the most important part of the method calculations. Blood sugar concentration in the blood serum is equal to ODT minus ODB divided by ODS minus ODB into 99 milligram per 100 ml. Here ODB is optical density of blank solution. ODT optical density of test solution and ODS optical density of standard solution. If the optical densities of blank solution, test solution and standard solutions are known, they 
then we can easily calculate blood sugar concentration using this relationship and the result is in milligram per 100 ml thank you for watching the video with concentration please like share and subscribe it thank you again